at the storage unit. It is July 4th at 5.15 p.m. And we really haven't listed a whole bunch, but I'm telling you, I kind of hit on it at the in the last video. It really did work. That would when I did this, it has boosted sales, as you can tell on the table. This isn't even all of them. There's still some at the house that were just listed. We, we since I've actually uh, delisted 500 items, then sold similar. We have only listed five items in what three days. Mm -hmm. We've just been incredibly busy trying to get this meet and greet together and getting content for the Beer Thrift Machine channel. We just haven't had that much time to list, but doing this has sparked something in the algorithm that we are selling things quite quickly, right? Mm -hmm. We just just um, standing here. We sold a gun butt for 35 bucks, then a vintage pair of Oakleys. If you find vintage pair of Oakleys, uh, I know you can't see what it is, but there's a picture of it here, and I ain't got no minutes, but you see that little picture right there? There you go. Right there, right there on the hand. They're called Oakley Triggerman <laughs> Rectangular Polarized Blue Lenses, $75 plus shipping. We've had this for years, and this was one that I had listed and delisted. Actually, so was the Oakleys. And it sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. That is a FN gun case. And then we did, this is another one that was listed and delisted. It is a Ninja Blender Processor 40 ounce. All right. So again, that's not too bad because our, our sales were pretty low, weren't they? Mm -hmm. And in the last three days, we've been doing really, really well. Tour Edge Bazooka, $17. This is a junior club that was also delisted and relisted. And um, I sold similar. I didn't relist them. I sold similar, but I did change some stuff on the things. Most of the time, it was the shipping. A Sturet clamp sold for 20 bucks. That was actually one of the new listings that we got. This was actually already bought and then um, canceled. This is a porterhouse. Porterhouse. It's a steak in here. <laughs> we got a big old steak. It is a porter cable plane joiner model 555. Sold for 55 bucks plus shipping on that one. Another extractor from a gun that sold for a little piece sold for $29. Then we had this really nice shirt. It is a vintage 3D emblem. Always look for the 3D emblem Harley Davidson shirts. I had to open it, open it up so I'll show you guys this. And I want to show you the actual emblem because a lot of people when I say 3D emblem they get uh they don't understand what I'm saying. They think like the emblem is 3D or something. But if you look right here, this is a really good shirt too. Sold for 70 bucks. So it says 3D Emblem, Fort Worth, 1991. Some of them are back in the 80s. This is a very good, very, very good um, example of one. Hardly any cracking on it. And then right here, when people say single stitch, see how there's one stitching right there? It might be hard to see. And this is a modern shirt that I'm wearing that there's two stitches. So you see there's two stitches there and just one single stitch there. That's another implication that's an older one, but this one does have a uh, date on it and the date is 1991. And so for 70 bucks, that's pretty good. We picked these up for $10, right? You got a bag. <laughs> My bag, what is it, stuck to it? It's an eagle said, I wanna fly right in this bag. So 10 bucks, that's not too bad for 70. We'll take that all day long. Then a pair of Just John Mamba shorts again. We sold the yellow pair. This one is the uh, purple and black pair. Sold for $19 plus shipping. 200 bucks for five Bose speakers. They're just the little invisible speakers. That's what they're called. They're black little cubes. Uh, the can't see them because they're Can't see them because I actually did pre-wrap these. But I'm going to open them up and wrap them again because they are going pretty far and... They sound like they're moving around. That's a good shake test, okay? We're gonna do a shake test here. And this is how we usually wrap things. If you can hear it moving, hear it? it you probably wanna check it out to see exactly what's going on inside the box. And this one is a Oakley, no shake, so. Oh, who packed that one? I don't know. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and open these back up to make sure they work. I mean, make sure that they're packed properly. But 200 bucks for the bows, 40 bucks for that. 40 bucks for this thing, $42 for that. That is a Mopar Dash Cluster Frame and Gauges part number. 42 bucks for that. We picked it up for a couple bucks at a yard sale a really long time ago. So far, everything that I've shown other than the Sturette was uh, delisted and relisted again. These we've had for years. Like five years we've had these. They are just Westward um, sockets. $15.40 for these. And they, uh, again... 
I relisted and delisted those. This one was another one. The old router, 51 bucks plus shipping on that. That is a Craftsman router, and it did come with bits. Routers, you gotta, gotta be careful. I used to pick up a lot of them. Now I'm super picky in them because a lot of them actually don't sell. Um, that one I did couple with some router bits that I think that's why it sold, but also that was another one, listed and delisted. Titleist, always a good brand, 30 bucks on this. This is a three wood. A little shoe, shoemaker, shoemaker. Charger, 70 watt charger right there. It's a little converter guy. He sold for only 15 bucks plus shipping. All of these that I'm showing showing you were delisted and sold as similar. A Craftsman sold for $9.99. Then we did have a Sensi right here that sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. We've had that for a while. We've had this thing. I would never buy this again. This is a Wii Draw. We've had this for 10 years, mm -hmm. I feel like. I feel like this is the first thing that we bought, right? It just, we've had it forever. It comes with the game and everything. And it's sold for only $10 plus shipping. This, I dropped the price. And when I looked these up before, they were going for about 80 bucks. I re-looked this up and did the sold comps on it. So I was wondering why this didn't sell. Because these sell pretty quickly. I had it listed for 80. They're, the comps have dropped on these significantly. Uh, so I listed it at 40, sold the next day because the comps were between 35 and, and 55. This one's in a little bit rough condition, but not bad. Sold again, 40 bucks. This one we had listed super high. I delisted it, relisted it, or sold similar. Then you actually took an offer on it. Came out of a blue box. And this is a Michael Michard Wisteria necklace with Maker's Mart natural theme. Got it out of a Goodwill blue box. You know, the blue box probably cost us, you know, 60 bucks. Sold for $175 plus shipping. That is the best one we've ever had out of a blue box, like by far. That's insane. And then we did have this guy right here, the Warning Pro Martini Maker. This has been sold and shipped back because the guy said that it didn't work for him, but it does work. Like he just didn't like it. So then that sold for 35 bucks. And again, the Wii Lot sold for 40 bucks. And that is everything that sold. One thing out of these 24 were modified in some way. I had looked at it, I had delisted de it, changed something in it, and then sold similar. And this is the, you know, that I, to me, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It did take me five hours, I think five to eight hours somewhere in there to actually do 500 listings, but it was well worth it because we moved a ton of product that was old, stale, but most of it had to do with the shipping was wrong. Mm -hmm. My shipping, I know I went over this in the last video, but it worked so well. The last video, we had only sold 13 things, I think, and then we haven't listed any. We've been super busy. It's July 4th, so we went over hung out with parents. We got the merch thing going on, so we didn't have time to list. Boom. Another 13 items sold. So that ain't too shabby. What we're gonna do is go home, pack these up, ship it. Next day here out at the other storage unit that we have, the outside storage unit, as you can tell, it's hot out. It's like, I don't know, heat index of 105, but these, these right here, you guys were right. Uh, we picked these up at a, in a storage unit. We kind of tossed them aside. Actually, I think it was this storage unit that we uh, got them out of. And we kind of was like, hey, probably $50 or $25 a piece. They're actually very high end uh end tables that's the name of them right there and we have washed them and cleaned them and everything like that and they look really good they already sold or we're waiting on somebody to come pick them up they drove all the way from what charleston which is two and a half hours and we're selling them for 225 dollars uh which is actually a steal of a deal for them we need them gone just so we have more room in here because brand new these are 600 dollars tables so it'd be like $1,200 for the set brand new, but we clean them up. I mean, they're older. They got some bumps and bruises and we took really good pictures of them, but the tops are in phenomenal condition. As you can tell right there, this one right here has got a little bit going on right there, but overall excellent condition. So if they show up, that's pretty good for 225 bucks. The guy actually got up here from Charleston and it worked out really well, right? Mm -hmm. $225 for that, which we were already on the good on that, um, storage unit so we're actually going in here because after this we're going to the booth and stocking the booth for our merch you are completely done all of your merch mm -hmm. and you have been working super hard on that late nights how many, how many articles of merch do you think you have oh. probably with stuff we already had probably about 80 pieces how many 
80. 80? That's pretty good. But you want to take the flying pigs yep. to the booth. Because I'm going to put those in the booth. Now, are we taking the dog to the booth? Oh. For the meet and greet? Oh, also, we need to get the table. Yes. Is it the that small table yeah. right there? Yep. And we also need to take this thing for the shirts. All right. So <laughs> we got put, a lot to get. <laughs> so we're putting the shirts on there, right? Yes. So that'll be good. And then this is going to be our little table. And then you also need to get a tablecloth, right? Mm -hmm. So the shirts will be on this. Again, we're going to show you exactly how we're going to go ahead and get it all done. But we're going to pick this up, this up. Then we're heading over to the booth to start um, setting up. So we are out at the Bounty Hunters Emporium and it's super hot outside so I'm sweating real bad but we're gonna go show you the booth that we have now which we'll have during our meet and greet is the older booth right here. The old, this is gone but we're gonna actually add more stuff in here then I'm gonna show you the other booth that Kayla's stocking right now for where we'll actually be at with all of our merch. So now we're gonna do is go over to the Family Dollar across the street, get the last touch to the merch booth and then she's done and then tomorrow we'll be here so we're getting the black tablecloth and then that that might really pop i don't know i'm definitely not the white right because it would get yeah. dirty what have we been doing on the tables to get it dirty but yeah we'll get the black we'll go put it in there be good to go we are done the booth look at this kayla did an amazing job look at you did so good that was incredible so we got a whole bunch of merch obviously we got our signs here got our table got those things got tons and she handmade all of these in the last two days we, got tons. we actually just sold a koozie just standing here other stuff here we got we got the little lanyards that she made we got tons of magnets that my brother made for us so it's definitely a ton of stuff we have and these are limited edition because when i say limited edition they're gone that's also our new logo that we haven't even showed anybody that is the new beard therapy machine logo obviously we got the beard for pictures so we can't wait to meet y'all